Japan should have been overturned. But instead, never let a good crisis go to waste, said Rahm Emanuel and Hillary Clinton, and they didn't. They used it as a goodie bag for liberal spending. One in four are now unemployed or underemployed. One in four are upside down on their home. There's $1.8 trillion in commercial real estate ready to default. Two trillion hidden under the mattress because of fear of higher taxes. And a $1.4 trillion deficit just this year alone. The Federal Reserve has printed almost $3 trillion in useless paper money and borrowed another trillion and a half. Our unfunded liabilities in Medicare, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security alone over the next 20 years is almost $100 trillion. It's, we're talking trillions here, folks, lots and lots of trillions. And it's hard for people to get their mind around exactly how much a trillion is. One trillion is 39,866 seconds ago. Our government is spending at the rate of $53,000 a second, and the interest alone is $1 billion a day. We have unprecedented levels of personal debt, government debt, bank debt, record foreclosures, massive entitlements, and a reduced manufacturing base. And our government's answer, higher health care premiums health care mandates, health care fines, new energy taxes, increased taxes, forced unionism, and thousands of pages of job-killing regulation. Their second answer, tax, spend, borrow, and print our country into massive inflation and a failed currency. Remember, liberal ideology, sociology, and methodology. Liberal methodology calls for social engineering. We see it in the government redistribution of wealth in public housing, public hospitals, Medicare, Medicaid, unemployment benefits, food stamps, free education, social security, massive entitlements, why work? Social engineering in the housing industry almost toppled the banks. It created unprecedented foreclosures and destroyed housing which used to be 15 percent of our GDP. Social engineering in education indoctrinates our children and dumbs down the entire system. True reform calls for reducing the size of the classroom and reducing the size of the teachers' union. Social engineering through government takeover of health care. They want to control it, regulate it, ration it, and tax it. Your costs will go up, your premiums are going up, your taxes will go up, and you will have less care with fewer doctors and fewer specialties. Provide amnesty to illegals, buy them health care, give them Social Security, and we will have a one-party system. It's not enough that our radical government has socially engineered America. They're looking south to Mexico, too. So what should we demand from our government leaders? Cut taxes, cut spending, and you can't do one without the other. JFK cut taxes and created millions of jobs. Ronald Reagan, a true Tea Partier, cut taxes, took the Carter unemployment rate from 10% to 5%, and doubled revenue back to Washington. Bill Clinton cut capital gains taxes. He had a Republican Congress, cut welfare, had no deficit, and we got the booming 90s. George Bush cut taxes and created 2 million jobs. In 2006, before the Democratic Congress took over, the Bush debt was $160 billion. Unemployment was 4.6. The Bush tax cut set a record of 52 straight months of job growth. And if that's failed policy, then I want it back. Overturn what's left of the borrowed TARP. Overturn what's left of the non-stimulus, which was nothing less than paybacks to special interest groups that helped get this administration elected. It promised us three million jobs and instead it lost five million. Stimulus doesn't work when the government decides which businesses succeed and which ones fail and only creates high dollar government jobs. Real stimulus is long-term broad tax cuts for every American and every business. Cut corporate taxes and let businesses stay in America. Cut capital gains taxes to 12% 12 like Ireland and let businesses invest in America. Cut income taxes so that resources are restored to the actual revenue producers that create the jobs so that millions of Americans can go back to work and be eligible for employer-provided benefits, not government-mandated benefits. Across 
across the board, 2 to 3% every year for the next 10 years. Start with the Department of Energy, which has held in our energy production for decades, and drill our oil. Cut spending in the Department of Education, which has produced no outcome-based results. Our schools are failing. And reform welfare, again. Repeal and replace Obamacare. No insurance policies for illegals. No taxpayer-funded abortions. Eliminate earmarks and give us a constitutional amendment for term limits. What a way to wipe out political corruption. One issue, one bill, with no unrelated amendments and no earmarks. If a bill is 2,000 pages long, it's not going to be constitutional. It will be loaded with higher taxes, filled with over-intrusive legislation, and will never be read. Just vote no. Finally, America is the greatest nation of all time. It's the nation that always gives. It's the nation that has every other nation's back. It was the nation that understood evil when it saw it. Do not let any government or any president tell you that America is less than or equal to any other. Our ancestors understood that when you elevate the corrupt, the irresponsible, the non-producers to the top of the food chain, the whole system fails. But we the people can change that. Thank you and may God protect America.